the 14th annual convention of the CIO meets in Atlantic City, and the first order of business is to hear an address from the defeated presidential candidate, Governor Adlai Stevenson, who thanks the organization for its efforts on his behalf. Perhaps as the defeated candidate, whom you were good enough to support, whom you honored, I can be permitted to say that the election should not be considered a disaster or necessarily even a misfortune for labor. What would be a misfortune and perhaps even a disaster would be to think so and preoccupied with fear, lose sight of labor's larger responsibility to a nation which is also groping its way into a new era. After a spirited floor battle and behind the scenes maneuvers, Walter Ruther, head of the auto workers, emerges as the new CIO chief, succeeding the late Philip Murray. At 45, he becomes one of the labor powers in the country. Alan Haywood is elected vice president. <laughs> 